Hello, welcome to my art channel. I mixed myself some molding paste that I'm going to use on this 50 by 30 centimeter canvas and just create a beautiful pattern with my catalyst wedge and um, then when it's dry I'm uh, going to paint it in a color. I made this uh, molding paste myself. I will share the, um, the recipe in the description box so you can uh, look it up, uh, write it down if you like, um, and can make it yourself if you like to. Um, I just dropped it on my canvas and I use a big palette knife to um, make sure. Uh, molding paste is everywhere on my canvas. I uh, Before I started I painted my edges um, and my sides black and put some uh, tape, some frog tape on it and um, so I can keep those clean and neat for um, when I uh, remove the tape and I will have a neat um, black on my uh, edges. I'm using a catalyst wedge number two and you can see I already tried one before that I wasn't happy with so I will try again and all the excess molding paste I'll just um, scrape it back into my yogurt cup that I used. I'm not sure but I probably am going to paint my molding pastes black and green I think. Maybe first all black and then maybe some green highlights or something I don't know. That's what I have in mind right now, but I will decide when it's dry what I offici officially will do. I'm just making patterns. I'm not mind that there's some black shining through in the middle. My canvas is white. That's no problem because I'm all going to paint it when it's dry. And just go over other patterns that I already made. That's no problem for me. And I'm just trying. I never did this before. I used an, um, some molding paste before for just one circle in the middle of my canvas that I um, did a bit of mixed media piece but I've never done a whole canvas so that's pretty new for me and I'm just trying and when it doesn't work out I scrape all the molding paste And start over. Well, I have to watch not to be not taking my time because it's very hot here in the Netherlands right now. I am completely sweating all places from my body. And that because of the heat my molding paste will dry faster so I don't can't go forever go on forever when I look into my camera it looks much more prettier than it looks on my canvas in my opinion. I don't like this bit. It's all maybe two less of the molding paste was here. So 
just applying a bit more and just to a little to less and get some wonky lines that I don't like. Well, and just try some new things. If you don't like it, you don't like it. And I've got my other creative activities, plenty. But I just wanted to, to try this. Again, let's try this bit. Oh, a lot better. Now I like it. I think I have to stop before my molding paste dries and I can't go further. So, catalyst wedge and my palette knife in my water bucket. My sweaty hands. Hi! Out of my gloves. And I'm going to remove my tape right away. Now it's dry. And I have to start on the longer sides. I applied that tape last. That looks nice. And now I just have to let it dry the sides well which color I want to use and paint over it I don't know if you can see this on the edge but I'm going to um, get rid of that and um, remove move that clean that and then make sure I pa paint over it again um, just going to use a baby wipe to see if that's a good help. Looks fine by me. And I can paint over it when it's dry. I'm not worried about that. So, the last of the frog tape. And then here it is. With my smooth edges, my molding paste. I'm very, very curious how this is going to be when I painted it. So, I would love to have you in my YouTube family, so please subscribe my channel so you won't miss a new video when I post it. You can hit the bell if you really don't want to miss anything. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and then I'll see you next time. Bye bye.